Water is the lifeblood of the Everglades. Over the last century, human disturbance has altered the way that water flows through this ecosystem with devastating environmental impacts. Now it only takes a few days for water to flow into Lake Okeechobee from the Everglades headwaters, rather than the months Mother Nature intended. Marshes that once filtered these flows have been turned into farmland and neighborhoods. Water flowing into the lake carries pollution from agriculture, sewage treatment plants, and septic systems. Excessive levels of nutrients have degraded Lake Okeechobee's once pristine waters, fueling massive blooms of toxic cyanobacteria. The drained area just south of the lake became the Everglades agricultural area. 700,000 acres of farmland dominated by endless fields of sugarcane. Far too much fresh water is being dumped into the St. Lucie and Caloosahatchee estuaries from human-made canals that drain Lake Okeechobee. Unnaturally low salinities in these coastal estuaries harm oyster reefs, seagrass meadows, and other plants and animals that rely on salty water. Today, the little bit of fresh water that reaches the Everglades from Lake Okeechobee suffers from nutrient pollution. Without enough clean water flowing south, drinking water supplies have become threatened. Some years, not enough clean, fresh water reaches Florida Bay at the southern end of the Everglades. This has led to unnaturally high salinities, massive seagrass die-offs, and huge algae blooms. Water quality on the Florida Reef Tract in the Florida Keys suffers. Damage to the Everglades didn't happen overnight, but the costs to nature have been immeasurable.